Kirk, Jay, it, I think it's fascinating for people to listen to your perspective on cognitive skills because on three levels, you were both athletes, you're parents of young athletes, and you also have to analyze the best athletes at the collegiate level. When you look at athletes today, young athletes, college athletes, how do you know that they have great cognitive skills, Kirk? I, I just think, and I don't know how you feel about it, Jay, but I, I feel like there's such an emphasis today on a young athlete, whether he's playing basketball or football, baseball, soccer, whatever it might be, about trying to focus on your skill set 12 months out of the year on being a great basketball player or being a great football player that I think a lot of times they, they miss out on the fundamentals and the, and the kind of the core values of the game. I mean, you can turn on a, a college basketball game or a college football game and see guys who kind of understand the game and the guys who don't. And, and, and it becomes somewhat instinctive when, when, you, when you take the time at a young age to learn the game and understand it. So I think when I see a cognitive player, I see a guy who took the time, somebody took the time with him to teach him that aspect of the game. Instead of just lifting weights, getting stronger and faster, understanding how the game is actually played is I think what we're talking about. And your point about skill set is really important because there's a difference between your skill set and your mindset. And while we spend a lot of time in training to get a certain skill down, the issue of your mental training is even more important in my judgment because you've got to be able to see the game and process a lot of information in a short period of time and make quick decisions. That's what really every game, every sport is about now. You don't have time to think. You have to process that information quickly. So the better you can train your mind to make those quick decisions and make them instinctive rather than having to think your way through it sequentially, the better player you're going to be, the, the better you're going to be able to perform. And when you can do it under stress, that, that's really the test of your mind, is can you perform under stress? And in any sport, you're going to be put in stressful situations. And are you going to be able to perform under that stress and to be able to you know, use your mind as a, as a, a positive weapon for yourself? You know, the, the skills are one thing, and those are great, but we spend an awful lot of time on those skills. But, but being able to concentrate, being able to process information, having a singular focus when the lights are on, those are skills too, and they're skills that can be improved upon. And as a parent, that's what I wanted for my, you know, there, there, there was no, my kid had no bigger fan than me, not, not one. And you wanted your son, your son or daughter to be really proficient in their skill level, but boy, you could tell when they weren't concentrating and when they weren't focused. And I don't, I'm not sure, I think that's under-trained. And I think that's where head trainer comes in to, to, to catch up your, your, the training of your mind to the training of your skills. I think a lot of this, when, when we were all kids, we probably learned a lot of things in the backyard or in a pickup game when it came to our understanding and our, um, our concentration and our focus. We could play outside for seven or eight hours in the middle of the summer. Kids today aren't doing that. Kids today, it's... It's very um, organized. You know, you're going to hit with your speed coach today at 11, your hitting coach or your shooting coach or whatever it is, your quarterback coach. Everything is so organized that, again, it's focusing on the skill set and it's not taking the time to worry about how you can improve uh, as just a, a player that's able to, as Jay's talking about, learn the aspects of the game. So when it is stressed and it is the pressure, you're able to block all that out and just trust your instincts and play. And in my sport specifically, you hear guys worry so much about what's your 40 time? What's your 40 time? And then you get into a game and you run a 4-5, but you play at a 4-8. And the reason you're playing at a 4-8 is because you're thinking too much. You're looking, you're studying, you're trying to figure out what formation they're in. And in football, I mean, it's, it's moving fast. You don't have time to think about... Coach said this, I mean, it's, the play's already moved past you. And so, you know, to me, with head trainer, it gives you a chance to learn the game and to think fast and not allow hesitation to come into play. You allow hesitation to come into play, I don't care how gifted you are as an athlete, you have no chance to compete. And all these games have changed. All these sports have changed and they've evolved. And I think w one of the great things that head trainer does is it keeps you ahead of the game and especially with your thought process and, and your mind, is, is your mental approach and your mental training puts you ahead of the game. 
uh, and your, your skill set, I think your point about spending all day outside and back in the day when we, we played pickup games and we were outside and organized our own games, it, kids don't do that anymore. They've got their own coaches, so they've got a coach for this, a coach for that, and, and the, all the physical training. And they, they put the time in. I mean, they want it. So it's not a question of effort or enthusiasm. They put their time in. But where's the time being spent on the mental side of it? Mm -hmm. And it, what Head Trainer does in a very short period of time, you can have fun, competitive, collaborative mental training. And you don't think you're working, but you are and you're, you're getting better and improving in an area that's going to help enhance your skill set because of the way uh, you, your mental approach to the game and how you've improved your concentration, your focus, your ability to process information much faster. And then, you know, it, what, what do we say about the best players? Game slows down for him or her. Mm -hmm. Game slows down. Your mental training improves. The game's going to slow down for you, and you're going to be able to take advantage of things that otherwise you wouldn't have seen. And that way your skill set seems like it's even better because your mindset is so improved.